everybody, welcome back to this channel. Today I'm finally talking about my cloth nappy stash and also why we do it. Now I've been doing this for about a year now and I'm finally talking about everything to do with cloth nappies. A lot of you have been asking me to do this video and I know I have been putting it off, but today I finally sat down and I got all my nappies cleaned and now we can do a cloth nappy stash and talk about why we do cloth nappies. Also, if you were here talking, it's because of him and because of the toys. So the first thing I want to talk about is why we actually cloth nappy. The first thing is definitely the cost. We are saving a lot of money by doing cloth napping. Our stash at the moment I think has cost us about $400 to $500, which isn't that much compared to a lifetime of disposables, which is a roughly, I think, average three years. It can cost up to $3,000, which in my opinion is a lot of money when I can save, you know, almost, you know, two and a half thousand dollars by doing cloth nappying. Another reason why we decided to do it is because it is very eco-friendly because we are reusing our nappies and our nappies aren't going into landfill. An average baby that goes to three years of being in nappies can use up to 5,000 disposables which is a lot of disposables to sit in our landfill and basically build up. Obviously another reason why we do it is because it is better for Frederick. Um, we don't have to worry about chemicals sitting on his skin from the disposables so obviously it is a lot better for him. And of course the big other reason why we do it is because they are so pretty you can get so many different prints and colours and designs on cloth nappies and I honestly don't know why you wouldn't want to do it because of that. Okay, so I'm going to get into my stash. Now some of my nappies and my inserts are wet because they literally just came out of the wash and I haven't put them on the line yet but I wanted to show you guys my complete stash so you saw what I have. I don't know, Big W does sell cloth nappies but they only have two different colors, pink and blue, so I definitely don't recommend them. Plus, they're not my favorite nappies, so that's another reason why I probably wouldn't really recommend Big W nappies. But these are actually suggested to fold them in thirds, which I don't really enjoy, just because they aren't as wide as a normal liner or insert, I should actually call it. I do normally just fold these in half and put them in a different nappy. These inserts are also microfiber. The next inserts I've got are just these microfiber single ones. I got these from eBay so they are just a China cheapie um, but apparently they are Australian brand what they say on um, eBay. I do really enjoy microfiber inserts. They're not my favorite but I do enjoy them so that's probably why I have so many of them but I did get them in a big bundle so it was quite cheap for me to get them in a big bundle. Another insert I have is just this one here. I only have one of them because I only have one of their nappies but it is a buckled one so it does have little snaps on the inside of the insert and you just snap them together and then you snap it into the nappy which I really like because it doesn't move about. And then the last insert that I've got are my bamboo ones. These are from a company called Green Kids and I have heaps of them. Also these are the doubled stitched ones so it looks like one insert but it is stitched at the top and you can add them as boosters also which is a good thing but I do have many of these. I do enjoy bamboo liners the most because I find them more absorbent and they hold a lot more than microfiber. I do want to try hemp and cotton inserts one day but I just haven't found a place where I want to buy them from. I guess we'll get on to the actual nappies now. So I have a bunch of sleep nappies. These are from Green Kids. I actually got these second hand for I think I bought the three with three inserts for 20 bucks which is a bargain because one of these nappies can be 20 bucks. So I've just got this um, giraffe print here and it's just a velcro open and shut 
and it does have a pocket at the back where you can put an insert. I have this zebra one here, it's also Velcro, which most of my nappies are Velcro. The last sleep nappy that I've got is just this rocket print one. Some of my China cheapies that I have, I have this one here which is just a cow print. This one is from the brand called Little Aussie Monsters, but I did buy them from eBay even though they say they're an Australian brand. Um, so I got this one, this one is a buckle one or a snap. Um, I enjoy the snaps more than the Velcro at the moment just because Frederick can take his nappy off now. So he can't take the snaps off but he can take the Velcro off. And then another one I have from that company is just this camo one. This is definitely one of my favourite prints. And then some more China cheapies I have is this one here. This one also has snaps which I really like. And then I've got this one here, which is little seals. You probably can't tell, but there's got seals on them. Those two ones actually my sister gave to me because she was trying out snaps on her toddler and she didn't like them, so she gave them to me, which is a bonus. My last snap nappy that I've got is this one here. This one is from Eco Nappies. I really I enjoy them. this one the most out of all of them just because the nappy inside is completely different to all of them where the insert actually gets clipped onto the nappy and you can stuff it or you can put it on top and then I have nine nappies here that are all velcro from green key two green and yellow ones here these are also velcro fronts I've got another zebra one I've got this tartan one this is one of my favourites. It's a little elephant. I think they're so cute. I got this flannelette one, which I really like for the winter time because it keeps him a little bit more warm. I've got this little zigzag one. Another flannelette one, which has just little circles printed on it. And then I've got one more flannelette one, which has got owls printed all over. So that is my cloth nappy stash and also why we do cloth nappying. If there's anything that you guys want to know more about cloth nappying or diapering, please feel free to comment it down below and I'm happy to answer it for you guys. Also, if you're interested in seeing a cloth nappy wash routine, definitely let me know and I will do one for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my stash and also wondering why we do cloth nappying. I hope you all found it kind of interesting and I guess we'll all see you guys in our next video. Bye guys!